Hey, I'm Fred Griffin. I do uh, sound engineering. I record for some bands. I mix and master for people online. And I play uh, live gigs and I uh, record live shows. Uh, well, I'm Kylie McCoy. I'm the head of the McCoys. I'm Max McCoy. I am the guitarist of the McCoys. And the real McCoys, we, um, we take every kind of crappy kind of pop song there's ever kind of been and we turn it into uh, punk rock songs. So, like, what got you into music? Uh, what got me into music was um, I started originally playing like Irish music because it's like my heritage from my family. I started when I was about 10 years old. Uh, I'm 20 now, so I've been playing for 10 years. But back when I was 15, at my secondary school, I got into the live sound because I used to help out with like the shows and stuff. And uh, the head technician at the time was just a sixth former. And um, he had like one year left, so he trained me up to do all the live sound at the, at the school I was at. What made you want to start a band? We want, I want to start this particular band because I've been in so many original bands and that for so many years, and like Maxie McCoy, I think you've been in so many original bands as yeah, well. Yeah, like, just done loads of it. And even when we played live shows before, the covers aspect always went down nicely. Like, in my old band, we always sort of did, it was a punk band again, we did kind of punky covers of random songs, not as specific as the McCoys, but just random bits, and it always went down quite well, so. They would be the best bits of the show. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like my old band, I think you saw my old band, Nothing, and we played loads of songs, and people were like, way, and it wasn't until we played like the Friends theme tune, and I was like, what? So like, where do you get the inspiration to do, like, the songs? Um, anything that we think, like, not that we're <laughs> going <laughs> not anything that we're going to enjoy, it's all about our audience, and I think that's what uh, kind of sets us apart from a lot of uh, dad cover bands, um, where they're like, oh yeah, let's do, let's do seven minutes of the Eagles, and you know. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think it's, we do, we do do stuff we enjoy as well, but it's knowing that we're going to enjoy playing it, and the, the crowd and the audience yeah. are going to enjoy it as well. So it's, it's a bit of both, but as Carl said, we're not just going and being like, oh yeah, you said the Eagles, or you know, you know like a Led Zeppelin cover. Yeah, you know, it was like, like 24 minutes. Like it, yeah. Long, yeah. How did you find all your band members? Um, with a big net. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I worked at Half Original College. Um, I don't work there anymore. And. Um, uh, at the time, I just pilfered from the music students. I was just like, yep, I'll have you, I'll have you, I'll have you. It was almost like a, I could just pick them out. And um, and what Max did, uh, well, Papa Shango got a song called Sniff the Milk. They bring out actual out-of-date milk. Ooh, Max dear. being the hardcore punk that he is. I uh, thought it'd be a funny idea to just uh, take the milk and just drink it, thinking, oh, it's not actually out of date. Yeah, it was very much out of date. And then you just went, that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so, we just, yeah, I was like, You're yeah, hired. Sure. <laughs> get him in my band. I don't oh, even care if he can't play guitar. <laughs> we'll so, find something to do. Yeah. Um, Classic. And there, that's how uh, Max got into the band, and then uh, it's all initiation. Yeah, and then you were just at half a reasonable college doing uh, yeah, HD yeah. by yeah chance. So <laughs> by chance, so um, yeah, the real McCoy's was created at uh, half a reasonable college. So thank you for half reasonable college for the uh, the opportunity. So when looking for a new sound, what are like the key elements you kind of want to hear? Well, when you're looking for a new sound, you want to pick something that's like. Someone that hasn't necessarily been picked before, it's hard to find something new, you know, there's so much going on with the way music's moving these days, but I generally try to, try to find something that will make the hairs raise on my arm, it's like, whoa, I could do something with this, or it's like, there's potential for this to go somewhere, other than like, just being left on a project folder in your laptop, which happens quite a lot. What like advice would you give, say like, up and coming bands who like, want to kind of get there? like sound out? Um, advice to give to bands, just want to get out there, it's probably best just like you need to stick yourself out there and play live shows. Fortunately myself when I was playing, when I was younger I used to play with groups so it's a case of oh come to this training or oh, we're playing for this band tonight like tonight I'm opening for a band in King's Cross and it's just through networking that I have so it's within the music industry it's not so much what you know it's who you know and that's always just been like the case with the industry so 
the best way to get in with a band or just to front line with a band like if you knew someone from the band or if you had a connection like an artist manager or something like that that's probably the best way to get about getting for live shows but if you want your stuff to go popular viral you need to go through social media certain music like 10 years ago isn't the same as what's good now but like what's good now might not be the same as what's good in 10 years time again or five or next week it can change it's a really quick market it will change quickly again so you just need to keep an eye on the trends and just go along with that. If you go with the trends, you're going to get people interested because it's also working at the time. Yeah, don't give up. I know it can seem like a complete no-ender when you come out of, either when you do a, a music as education or music in, in anything and you come out of it and you want to do it on your own and stuff like that. And it just seems such a kick in the nads of just how people treat you or that you're an artist and you don't get any respect for it or you plow away at this album that you've done yourself and put that out there and then no one gives a crap or he gets one like on Facebook and stuff like that. Don't give up because there are people out there that want to listen to it. There are people that still follow music. Does, there are still people that come to gigs. Yeah, it does take time as well, you're saying that. You know, it's not an overnight thing. Sometimes no. it is for people. It's only like, we've been going five years and it's only last year that it really went to Yeah, for sure, for sure. So, it takes time, you know. So it does take time. Not. Like Keep barely thinking. anyone has an overnight sensation thing. If they do, it's no. like a big explosion that fizzles out. That's it. Yeah. So, true.